Welcome. T I, well, my my name is not my name's not T, guys. I'm... But I, I appreciate it nonetheless. Uh... Oh, there you are. You ugly little creature. You've made quite a name for yourself. Such an fucking. I am impressed. Oh yes. If you're looking for Alice, she's not here. While you were busy doing your ahem thing. She was running around evacuating people to safety. Now they're in a place where you'll never get to them. Deciding not to fight you, oh my, she really is the only smart one, isn't she? Oh, how sassy. You're just itching to get in your hands on me, aren't you? Well, too bad. This world needs stars more than it needs corpses. Toodles! An incredible invention. Would not use this bed falls into an extremely easy to draw box. It's a promo poster for Mendeton's TV premiere. Well that's great and all, but this this is incredible. I'm gonna make so much fan art of it. no. I want I, I wanna see so much fan art. That's gonna be like that's that, that's just such an incredible invention. Especially when it's not in use. Yay. Oh. Vulcan strolls in. Vulcan is dead. Ah, nice. Sun... Sun... Sun little plane gets underway. Not on purpose or anything. There we go. But I never got to! Frying pan, man. There's a frying pan on the ground. Will you take it? Absolutely. I'm caring too much. Is there a box nearby? Okay, well, you know... It's a bit far... to the next box. I'm just going... to waste something. Anyway, I guess I really can grind out enemies here. Not much. But I never got to... Uh, Hey, more XP, let's go! Frying pan lines and ran, will you take it? I will take it! Oh, hey. You're here. So that means I'm dying. She's. Like. I'm dying. <laughs> we'll avenge you! Get out of my sight. Oh, one, you. Whee! Oh, nice try, man. Ah, it was, it was okay. That's enough for me, though. I win! Whoa, let's go. 30 free left. one how special as well savor this moment and leave you on exactly one health yeah i figured i was to do that one well you put up a fight admittedly not much of a fight but you put up one just not a very good one well that's all of them every last one destroyed 
determination. But nobody came. Well, they're all gone. No one to get in my way now. I killed them all, everyone, who gave me any sort of inconvenience. They're gone. Yeah. Didn't have much gold, though. Steal. Take the spider donut. Well, wasn't that just wonderful? Ah, another place I need, didn't need to go to. Yes! Perfect. Uh, we need to head back. We need to go back. You stop to smell the flowers. Let's go! Oh, worth it. Alright, so I assume um, most of these places I don't need to go to. Probably the right one isn't the right way either. Let's just go top. Alright, okay. Right... <laughs> The right way. The, the, you see, the right door was actually the right door for once, and that threw me off. Did you hear what he said? He said a human wearing a striped shirt will come through. I heard that they hate spiders. I heard that they hate everybody. I heard that they like to tear their legs off. It's quite fun, actually. Yeah, you should try it. I heard. Hey. That they have some awful taste. What a shame. A human comes through and they even aren't even fit to be eaten. Oh, well. Rotten ingredients can always be discarded. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is a good soundtrack. Oh, bye-bye. <laughs> That's all. I'd have thought so. I thought so. Oh. Hmm. Is this a flower? What is this? Sort of peace offering? I win! Hey! Go up the creepy alleyway on the right for some great deals. Are you guys still here? Are you guys here? Or no? But like, nobody came and stuff. Hey, this is Braddy. Hey, this is Katie. Reading this, then like, bad news, you evil mega, mega evil weirdo. I just came here and she's talking to us. Some is super duper safe. But first, we gotta use up this gel pens. Yeah, true. We don't wanna waste pens. I don't even think about stealing ourselves. Yeah, creep, jelly from Chuckle World. Crafty, it's not crafty, it's not junk, it's real value. Yeah, our garbage is really valuable. Anyway, it's closing. You're a real loser. Yeah, loser. <laughs> Sign K and F yeah, whatever. Cool. Is there a box? Ah, oh, there is. How convenient. Why do I always get the freaks? Are you gonna order or what? Huh? Everyone else is dead? Does that mean I don't have to work today? Uh, that it were that it were true, little weirdo. That it were true. Sorry, little weirdo. Frets don't work on me. I can't go to hell. I'm all out of vacation days. Anyway, uh, hmm. What the stake in Minotaur's face? Hmm, I'll take a legendary hero and, uh, legendary hero. Alone again. Look at all these empty, empty walls. There's nothing left here. Nothing for me. Nothing for them. Nothing for anyone. And once I'm done here, there'll be nothing left up there either. There's never anything left. 
There's a heart-shaped lock inside the box. Will you take it? Um, sure. You're carrying too much. Yeah, take it. What, what does it do? Armor defense 99. You can feel it beating. Okay. Right where it belongs. Yep, knife. The real knife. 99. Here we are. Let's go. About time. Howdy, West. You finally made it home. Remember when we used to play here? <laughs> Boy. It's gonna be just as fun. Oh, it sure is. It's been a while. Did the key and put it in your phone's keychain. I remember when I first woke up here, in the garden. I was so scared. I couldn't feel my arms or my legs. My entire body had turned to a flower. Mom, Dad, somebody help me! I called out. But nobody came. There you are. Eventually, the king found me crying in the garden. I explained what had happened to him. Then he held me, West. He held me with, his, with tears in his eyes, saying, There, there, everything is going to be alright. He was so emotional. But for some reason, I didn't feel anything at all. No chocolate, no chocolate! Well, I soon realized I didn't feel anything about anyone. My compassion had disappeared. And believe me, it's not like I wasn't trying. I wasted weeks with that stupid king, vainly hoping I would feel something. But it became too much for me. I ran away from home. Eventually, I reached the ruins. Inside, I found her, West. I thought of all the people she could make me feel whole again. She failed. <laughs> I realized these two were useless. I became despondent. I just wanted to love someone. I just wanted to care about someone. West, you might not believe this, but I decided it wasn't worth living anymore. Not in the world without love. Not in the world without you. So, I decided to follow in your footsteps, or to erase myself from existence. And you know what? I succeeded. But as I left this mortal coil, I started to feel apprehensive. If you don't have a soul, what happens when you... Something primal started to burn inside me. No, I thought, I don't want to die. Then I woke up. Like it was all just a bad dream. I was back at the garden. Back at my save point. Interested, I decided to experiment. Again and again, I brought myself to the edge of death. At any point, I could have left it. I could have let this world continue on without me. But as long as I was determined to live, I could go back. Amazing, isn't it, West? I was amazed, too. At first, I used my powers for good. Became friends with everyone. I solved all their problems flawlessly. Their compassionship was amusing. For a while. As time repeated, people proved themselves predictable. What would this person say if I gave them this? What would I do if I said this to them? Once you know the answer, that's it. That's all they are. It all started because I was curious. Curious what it would happen if I killed them. I don't like this, I told myself. I'm just doing this because I have to know what happens. <laughs> what an excuse. You and all people must know how liberating it is to act this way. At least we're better than those sickos that stand around and watch it happen. Those pathetic people that want to see it but are too weak to do it themselves. I bet someone like that's watching right now, aren't they? Nowadays, even that's grown tiring. You understand, West. I've done everything this world has to offer. I've read every book, I've burned every book. I've won every game, I've lost every game. I've appeased everyone, I've killed everyone. Sets of numbers, lines of dialogue, I've seen them all. But you, you're different. I never could predict you, West. When I saw you in the ruins, I didn't recognize you. I thought I could frighten you and steal your soul. I failed. And when I tried to load my save file, it didn't work. West, your determination. Somehow it's even greater than mine. I just have one question for you, West. How did you get back to the ruins from here? 
Wait, I know. She must have taken you when she left. Decided to give you a proper burial better than hanging out in the basement forever. But why then? What made you wake up? Did you hear me calling you? It doesn't matter now. I'm so tired of this West. I'm tired of all these people. I'm tired of all these places. I'm tired of being a flower. West, there's just one thing left I want to do. Let's finish what we started. Let's free everyone. Then, let's, let's them see what humanity is really like. But despite it all, this world is still care or be cared. Then? Well, I had been entertaining a few ways to use that power. <laughs> but seeing you here changed my mind. West, I think if you're around, just living in the surface world doesn't seem so bad. You don't even need to leave to get them this time. The king has six of them locked away. I tried hundreds of ways to get him to show me them, but he just won't. West, I know he'll do it for you. Why am I telling you all this? West, I said it before. Even after all this time, you're still the only one that understands me. You don't give me any worthless pity. Creatures like us wouldn't hesitate to kill each other if we got in each other's way. So that's... So that's why... Heh. <laughs> What's this feeling? Why am I shaking? Hey, Wes, no hard feelings about back then, right? Hey, what are you doing? Back off! Okay, I've changed my mind about this. This isn't a good idea anymore. You should go back west. This place is fine the way it is! Stop making that creepy face! This isn't funny. You've got a sick sense of humor. Are you over here? No. Oh, okay, you went this way. I already have everything I need. Where'd you go, Flowey? Where did you go? Seems I've lost you. Hey. I'm busy. Huh. So, I've got a question for you. Do you think you've been the worst pe the worst person can change? And everyone can be a good person if they just try? <laughs> Alright. Well, here's a better question. Do you want to have a bad time? Because if you take another step forward, you are really not going to like what happens next. Well, sorry. Sorry, old lady. This is why I never make promises. It's a beautiful day outside. Birds are singing. Flowers are blooming. On days like these, kids like you should be burning in hell. Yep. <laughs>